It's stuffing and bisto, that must mean. <gasps> oh, hang on, there's peas and broccoli. That must mean. <gasps> oh, a roast. So, what are we having? We're going to have a roast chicken. There's a large chicken, 1.9 kilos. We've got two big carrots in there. And we have got a bunch of potatoes. And we're going to do a roast in the Ninja. Now, this has all gone from scratch. Normally, I would have parboiled those and I'd have parboiled those. We ain't got time, we just got back. So we're gonna see how it all comes out. So, here we go, I'm gonna pop the lid down. We've got the little um, temperature probe in, so that's sticking the side there. Goes through, ticks apart the chicken, bang, job done. This has all been covered in olive oil, obviously. Salt and pepper over the chicken. So, we are gonna go on. We want a preset. Come on, preset. Come on, you cheeky one. Gee, preset. There, chicken, 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 chicken. Well done, well done, congratulations. Start. A few minutes since I put that down, and now it says add food. I always put it in anyway, I can't bother with that. So it's already started, a nice little slow bit. So the target temperature inside the chicken, 75 degrees, currently around 78 degrees. The time is 17.37, so I'll give you an idea of how long that chicken takes to cook at the end, if I remember. Meanwhile, I'm making my stuffing, so I've got a load of butter, we're boiling the water, and we've got the breadcrumb mix in there. Well, I just wandered through, it's been 36 minutes, right? 51, so two thirds of the way up to the temperature we want. The reason I've come through now and I'm going to open the lid and check is because it smells amazing through the house. So let's have a look. Oh, look at those roasties looking good. Chicken's looking good. Carrots looking good. I'm going to turn the carrots, turn the roasties. That's what I'm going to do. Just turn me spuds, make sure I got a nice coating. I'm going to get a little bit of that oil and drain it over the top of the skin again. And Al's just come through and she's giggling, aren't you? <laughs> what was the, what was it you said to me? I just said. What are you going to do with these massive stuffing balls? Now, I didn't know she was looking at those. I thought she was talking about mine. Uh, uh, hang on, hang on. I'll hang on, hang on. Let go. Um, yeah. This isn't going to form a video. <laughs> I was like, should I do a, do a special video of this? Al, don't turn it over. <laughs> Times. Move back. That's all you need to do. So, Alison has bought this. She said, I come in, right? I come in. Look. I look a right spanner, I look like a spanner. So I come in, right, and she says to me, she says, go and get your clothes off. And I'm like, whoa, whoa, sounds like a good night to me. She switched the heating on. No, she hasn't switched the heating on. <laughs> she's bought herself here, she says, you gotta wear this. And if I'm, she's got it off Amazon, 25 quid, what's the, what, what make? Uh, I don't know. Don't know. It's not that warm, it's, it's nice, okay. It doesn't have the gap of a normal dressing gown. It looks fucking ridiculous. Um, I thought it was warm. I was snuggled up yesterday. I don't think it's that warm. Anyway, back to my balls. Let's talk about my balls. So, the reason why I've got big balls is that they stay nice and soft and lovely in the middle, crisp up on the outside. Is there room in the Ninja, though? There will be room in the Ninja. Mm. But first, I've got to do some basting. Those I've, carrots aren't doing very well. I've turned them. Yeah? Yeah, carrots doing great. So, ladies and gentlemen, Get your bird, spread its legs, whack your balls straight out the middle. So quite enough of that. I've just heard it be. There's Al. She just heard it cheers. be. Ch cheers. She said gin. No. No, I said go on. She said go on. <laughs> right. But there's Liz Truss. Look at the size of that TV. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. She's been in TV. Anyway, there's Liz Truss. She's just sacked Quasi Quarteng. Um, doesn't realise that, that the only reason Quasi Quateng is the only person who's been sacked is because there's no one to sack her just yet. Um, it's beat. The chicken's ready. Yeah, they're doing a good job. I haven't done the gravy yet. So look at that, an hour and it's an hour and five minutes. One point nine kilo chicken, beautifully roast. Oh, nice and crispy. Look at those stuffing balls. Look at those spuds. Do you know what I'm going to do though? My spuds are in all the oil. I'm going to drain the oil while I do my peas and broccoli and gravy. 
So I've drained all the oil out. I've got my broccoli and peas in the microwave. I've drained all the oils out, all out. Um, done that. So now what I'm doing, I've just waxed on to 220 just to crisp these spuds up just a bit more. And and uh, now what I had to do when I was draining, I had to tip it. I got Al to hold it, and she was just making joke after joke about holding the balls, tickling the balls, and so on. We missed all that. Anyway, I waxed it up to 220. So that's going to go boom, <clears throat> crisp everything. Lovely. This chicken carved. So what are we looking at? Nice crispiness to the skin. Look at that. Nice and white. Cooked right through. Lovely bit of chicken that. Let's pick a piece out. Moist. Mmm. Damn flavoursome. Moist. That's good. Quite often you end up with dry breasts. Brilliant. There we go, look at that, just over an hour and I've got a gorgeous roast for it. The potatoes are nice, I'd rather parboil them but they've crisped up anyway. Peas look good, peas and broccoli have delayed us to be fair. The chicken is lovely and juicy and tender. I've got me uh, plenty of cooking done on the gravy. My balls look amazing. Brilliant. Would you like to put more gravy on yours, Alison? Yeah, go for it. There's any left. This is a treatment and a roast chicken for ages. Oh. Fantastic. Let's tuck in. A good half of the chicken plus. Al's still eating. Yeah. There's a tasty chicken there. I like that. It's yeah. nice. Nicely cooked. Me, I'm a big fat, fast eating pig. And I'm a glutton and it's all gone. And I'm wearing some normal clothes again because it's all very well and good. But I'm not going to look like an idiot, I'd rather go bankrupt. <laughs>